So now that we have chemical storage out of the way, we should talk about the application. Regardless of the product, we should always read the label first. We need to understand what pests the product is registered to treat and the area that we're allowed to apply the product. For example, some products are strictly for external use only. If we use these products internally, this could be very harmful either to us during application or for anyone exposed to the products in the coming days and weeks. So I'll reinforce, please read the label before you use it. Next, we need to review what PPE or personal protective equipment should be worn during application. And the big one is when we're mixing a product. Now on a side note, with DIY, I strongly recommend always looking at ready to go products anyway, as in that have already been diluted. This mitigates the risk of exposure to heavy concentrates, which is when the risk is the highest. For example, some of our products may be mixed at a ratio of only 5%, yet there's still an issue if we get the product on us when we're spraying. Imagine the strength of the concentrate 20 times stronger than the mixed product. So what I'm saying is the greatest risk can often be when mixing the products. So don't forget your PPE for this step too. Now, what PPE must be worn with the product should always be on the product label. But just quickly, some PPE that we would typically wear as standard should include these overalls or even temporary overalls like these coveralls, enclosed footwear, ideally work boots, a hat, impervious gloves like these PVC ones, and respirators and goggles are another key piece. 